I'm here at the Point Jam on a Sunday night. I managed to kidnap, and I mean uh, kidnap because to me, Rocky's a kid, but this is Rocky Molino Jr. And I met him uh, at Long and McQuaid Music Store where he was doing his little sell ya a guitar thing, but as it turns out, this guy is a fucking murderer. And he's a blues R&B cat, and we're going to see some footage of him later. We're going to capture it. But I've been kind of dying to meet the kid because um, I've been told so much about him. We've got a lot of friends in common, which I have to talk to you about later, actually. You know, uh, one, of the, one of the kids that I was took under my wing and really hung out with for a while because uh, she was such a great musician is Jessica Maros. Ah, Jess, yeah. And you know her well. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll swap stories about her, man, because that was a musical human being. Yeah. yeah that's cool, man. It's such I, a small world. And I'll tell you how I met her because it was very cool how I did. Anyways, Rocky, while well, we got some time here, why don't you tell everybody what you're all about, buddy? What I'm all about? Well, I'm a guitar player. I'm a blues player. Yeah. And I, I, I love saying that because that, that is kind of where my love is, is deep down in the blues. I love blues music. A lot of the guitar grades, we talked about Jimi Hendrix earlier, Stevie Ray Vaughan, you know, John Lee Hooker, who's not necessarily a guitar great, but he's the blues, man. He's one of my biggest inspirations. And Well, you know what? I, as Jimi Hendrix said, the blues, yeah, uh, they're, they're, they can be really easy to play, but it's real hard to feel. Absolutely. And John Lee Hooker felt. Felt the blues. That's 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 totally well said, man. How old are you? I am. I. You know what? I, how old am I? I. You know what? I forget how old I am. Sometimes I think about it and I go, you know what? How old am I? And I'm actually like I'm 22. Are you? I keep thinking sometimes that I'm 20, like five, and I keep thinking that I'm 16 sometimes. It's weird. The reason I'm asking is because I'm 50 and I depend on guys like you to keep this flag going because if you don't. <laughs> We're fucking dooms. Oh man, no, I'll keep this flag going for sure. If I any chance that I get to sit there and play somebody the blues, get in front of people, I play the blues. I love playing it. It's you know, I I, I think I'm more of someone to say I love music in general because I, I can dabble in lots of things. Like right now I'm doing a lot of pop rock stuff and it's just kinda what I've been writing these days, how I've been feeling, right? But my guitar playing is something that I carry with all the new stuff that I do, and that's the blues guitar and I right. put that in all the pop. Music. And when it comes to the blues are you hooked up with a, a good bass player and a good drummer that will gonna make this you know what I've convincing got, I've got some guys that I've been with for about six years they're my my original mainstay cats and I want to stay with them for for the rest man they're my guys we we solid backing bone you know yeah just bass and drums is, is just as much as the blues you know as the front guitar is, you know, well, it, if it's you don't, important. Oh yeah, I mean, it's what creates the mood. It's you what better sets the have pace. yourself a drummer and a bass player that knows what for, or you're doomed. Yeah, you need guys that watch you and can can take that shuffle. They can slow it down, speed it up, and they can stop it whenever you say to. Are you or, doing this for a living now, or what? Uh, this is my everyday life, man. It's it's what I do. Mm -hmm. It's what I love doing. So it's hard to call it work because yeah. when you're doing stuff that you love to do, it's not work. Well, maybe you're one of those very rare guys that's going to be able to pull that off and actually play music for a living and get money to do it. Uh, most of us have had a day job. And, man, I, you're talking to a 50-year-old guy, and there's nothing more br brutal than getting out of your club at 2 in the friggin' morning and having to get to work by 6 in the morning and I did it every day and that's why I don't feel sorry for the goddamn soul. <laughs> you know something? It's funny because the day job is such a huge part of being a musician because it's in one sense... It's, Are you going to buy guitar strings, pal? <laughs> exactly. It, it's, it's what creates the turmoil. You know, you yeah. want to play, you want to live, you want to live the music but it's what you write about is what you can do all the time and that's what makes it better sometimes. So. I need you to pull this off, Rocky. I need you to be <laughs> that guy that's going to play the blues and R&B and bring it to your generation of people because I'm going to cry myself to sleep every night for the rest of my life if you don't. Hey man, well I'm going to work at it every day. You know, this it's things like, like the jam in here, the Sunday nights, all the musicians in town, they get together, they rock and roll. These
these are the kinds of things that people got to come to, they got to see, you know? Really important. Yeah, and musicians got to get down to them because that's what makes it live on. It was make it happen, you know? I got some bad news for you. Okay. I'm kidnapping you one day. Uh, you're coming to my house because I have footage for you that you haven't seen, and it's going to ruin your life, man. And it's footage of Jimi Hendrix. Okay. I want to see. But it's Jimi at his very, 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 very best. <laughs> and that is a bold statement, Rocky. You know, even when Jimi was at his worst, I know. I think it was he his best. He that shit out of every <laughs> other thing that moved. He was such a real musician. He was a real artist. You know? Well, yeah. Um, I can't talk about him enough. If you want to have a day where you're going to talk about Jimi Hendrix, you're talking to the right guy. Because I am fully loaded when it comes to knowledge of that guy. But we need a lot of time for that because that's we'll, we'll get a few beers broken open and we'll have to watch some cool footage. Because anything on Jimi Hendrix is something you got to spend the whole night. That's my secret job. agenda, actually, for even doing this all bullshit, freaking video stuff, man. I don't give a shit about this. I give a shit about the blues, though, and yeah. having it played well on guitar. Hey, man, you know, there's one thing that I can say about things like this and guys like me, you know, other music cats. It's guys like you that make this pre-recorded stuff and this recorded stuff. It's what documents it and makes it real. You know, if you watch this 20 years down the road... You know, and they will. They'll see it. Yeah, they'll go, oh, that that's awesome. Look at Rocky when he was just a little lad. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't he a cute little lad? Well, you know, it's true, man. I look forward to seeing these kinds of things when I get older, you know? Okay, Rocky's going to go out and play later on. Um, I don't know who they're going to stick him with. They might stick him with some shit. They might stick him with some decent people. <laughs> Whatever it is, he's going to be a gentleman about it and do the best he can. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to be keeping our eye on this kid um, because he's the what we're going to call the great little Italian hope. What's Mex that? The Mexican hope. My mama calls me the Mexican hope because she's from Alcata, right? She's from Culiacan in Mexico. Get out of here. Yeah, like I'm, I'm like half Mexican, cool. half Italian. I got Newfie in me. Oh my God! Does your mom ever let you listen to um, like Mexican Tejano accordion music? You know something, man? I listen to all the old traditional Mexican stuff as well as a lot of the newer stuff. I love it. I can I can play you tapes for hours of stuff that was recorded on like the grossest material, but it yeah. sounds so good. Oh it's, hey, it's because it's totally real stuff. Well, herein lies the problem. Both Rocky and I are gonna have beards down to our fucking shoes by the time we get finished talking to each other. So, <laughs> cut, cut video. We're gonna go party. <laughs> it's been huge. Love you.